Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, this is part three of our design to code project that we're currently working on. So you'll notice that I added a new step in here, and this is what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be exporting all of our assets from Adobe XD and setting up our folder structure for our project. So after we're done with that, we're going to run through the code setup, just getting the project file set up and installing some things so we can run SAS. It's going to be a pretty quick video, just getting everything ready for the first part of the code. So let's go ahead and head over to Adobe XD and get started. So here's our final design. And in my code folder, I just have it named code. I'm gonna make a new folder called images. And this is where all of our exports are gonna go. So let's first export this image with the square that I have grouped together. I'm just gonna click on it, press command E. Inside of my code folder, I'm gonna select images. And then I'm just gonna name this image underscore 01. Down at the bottom, we'll do the same. I've also grouped these. Image 02. And then for our repeat grid, I'm just gonna select all of my images. We have some repeating, but that's fine. And I'll just hit Command E on those, and then export. This image I already have in high res, so I'm just gonna drag that in from a downloads folder. And then all we have left is the icon. So I'm just gonna select each one and I'm gonna go inside of its grouping and select the icon itself. We have this nice spacing for Adobe XD that works well, but when we code, we don't want that. So I'm just gonna export each one of these individually. So here in VS Code, I have my code folder open, as you can see here, and here is our images. We can expand that. So what we need to do is first have an extension that I like to use when we're gonna be working with SAS, which is what we're gonna be doing throughout the rest of this project. So I'm gonna go to my extensions, and it's right here. It's called SAS, and I just installed this and then reloaded. And what this is gonna do is it's going to Give us the syntax, the highlighting, the autocomplete, and the snippets for VS Code that we need. So now we need to install SAS so that we can actually use it and start coding. So to do that, I'm gonna be using NPM, Node Package Manager, and I'm gonna take you guys through the process of doing that really quickly. All right, so since we're gonna be using SAS, you need to install SAS on your computer. So here at css-lang.com, just click Install, and you can choose one of these methods to install SAS. I got my method from Jesse Showalter. He used NPM to do it, and it's a free way to do it. You don't have to use any of these paid uh, applications that are gonna compile it to CSS. So that's really great. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that method, NPM. So to do that, you can just go to nodejs.org. NPM's just gonna redirect you over here. So you just click the recommended for users and download that, follow the wizard, and you will be set up. And then after that, we can use that to install SAS. And we just go into our terminal. Terminal looks like this if you've never used it. Just command spacebar and search up terminal here in the spotlight search. And that'll pull this up for you if you've never did it before. Uh, you're just gonna put in npm install dash G and then SAS. And the G is gonna be for global. It's gonna allow you to access that all across your machine, which is really great. So once we have that, so I'm gonna go into Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna press Command N for a new file, and I'm just gonna save this. It's gonna go in my code folder, and I'm gonna call this main.sass. So there's two syntax for using SAS files. You can save it as SASS or SCSS. So if we go back to sasslang.com, we can click Learn SAS, and this shows you what all SAS does for you. And you'll notice here you can view it in the SCSS or the SASS. There's a lot of S's in that, and I'm struggling to pronounce this, SAS. So you can choose which one you want to use. I prefer to do this one. It's a lot simpler to me. So that's what we're gonna be using, S-A-S-S. -S. Okay, so we're just gonna save that up. And then we're also going to create our CSS file. So I'm gonna save this as main.css this time. So here in VS Code, we can open up the terminal. And I have mine down here. And we're just going to type in a command that's going to, it's gonna check our SAS file and compile it to CSS every time we save. So to do this, we say SAS, so we're calling on that. And we're gonna say dash dash watch. And then we're gonna input our SAS file first. So whatever you name that, if you didn't name it the same as me, I'm just gonna put in main dot 
sass. And then we're going to do a colon. And then this is going to be the output. So where this is going to be mapped to. So main dot CSS. So again, I learned this method of compiling SAS to CSS from Jesse Showalter. I'll link him down in the description. He's got a really great tutorial series over there showing you in four videos everything you need to know about SAS. So again, I'll link him down in the description so you guys can go over there and check out his awesome content that he provides. So that's it for me today. So just a real quick video today, setting everything up for the code part of this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design and code related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And you can follow me on all my social media at Kaler Edwards. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.